Rob Patrick, I'm excited to be here at the Fujitsu Stand at Mobile World Congress to talk Open RAN with you. So, uh, Rob, maybe we can start with you. AT&T has made an historic investment in Open RAN. So, high level, what are your goals with this architecture? Yeah, I think for us, there are really three, ba four basic pillars associated with our architecture and our transformation to open. So we're moving our traditional baseband from a proprietary um, network management solution to one that is open, but also allowing for the possibility of supporting open radio, which enables the opportunity for companies like Fujitsu to pair with Ericsson in the network directly. Uh, so we introduce a new open baseband, traditional baseband, and a number of open radios also from our incumbent supplier from Ericsson. We're also bringing in third-party radios and to what we suggested, we said within six months after we did the initial deal, we would issue an RFP and we'd make a vendor selection as quickly as possible. We did and we'd aligned on picking Fujitsu, particularly as a preferred supplier for what we would call our first of many third-party radios, essentially uh, a radio targeting the opportunity for us to uh, be innovative and creative in how we deploy radio and densify our network, uh, not just targeting in particular cost, um, although that's always a great motivator. Um, then of course we bring in the opportunity for us to introduce CloudRan. Uh, CloudRan uh, gives us the most flexible, most programmable platform, as well as the most open platform for us uh, for the future. And we're evolving the CloudRan over the next couple of years. And we'll have a significant percentage of CloudRan in the network uh, introduced over the next couple of years, starting with this year. But the fourth pillar is really about network management and it's important in the context of third party radio and that uh, allows us to manage the radios independently of the baseband. Um, it allows us to be uh, world class leading in supporting what we would consider to be a hybrid configuration as opposed to hierarchical configuration. It no longer makes the uh, radio to some degree subservient to the baseband. Uh, it also gives the opportunity for the radio vendor to directly innovate with us and create opportunities on new observability, new alarming, new capabilities in the radio that wouldn't previously been exposed because we would have to wait for them to be exposed through our baseband provider. And so Patrick, building on uh, Rob's first pillar there around open baseband, historically complexity of system integration has been a bit of a pushback on open RAN in general, but uh, I know you're doing uh, the work right now with Ericsson. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about how that process uh, works, is it getting easier? Sure, sure, absolutely. When we started this uh, four or five years ago, uh, in general, uh, there was actually quite uh, quite a lot of effort involved and uh, uh, unpredictability in terms of timing when we could complete integration. Nowadays though, uh, maturity uh, in the ecosystem with uh, multi-vendor product management, automation of test suites, uh, uh, is basically letting us to uh, spend much more time, uh, sorry, much less time and also less effort uh, than, than in the past. So uh, integration time and I would say also uh, ability to resolve any bugs or issues that we experienced during integration has uh, been much quicker over the last few years. So and I would say now with the uh, help of at t here and the work that we do here with Ericsson, uh, this is basically taking it to uh, the next level because of the rigorness that we have with uh, Ericsson and at t and we need to meet basically performance requirements and operational requirements that are uh, at least as good as single RAN. So that puts a good context and also sharpens everyone to make sure that we turn this into a very ex executable process going forward. Now, final question for you, Rob, here. Why did you select Fujitsu to work with? So the benefit of working with them is that they were able to provide us with a radio that met our requirements. So the incumbent providers ironically didn't want to address this because they're trying to build for a global market as opposed to trying to attack our specific need. So it was very clear that there was a strong customer focus from Fujitsu to drive towards something that was very specifically needed for AT&T to serve a problem statement that we know we needed. The interesting side effect is, is that now we've started to hear that as this radio has proliferated, the other operators are also looking for this radio. So we're hoping that that generates the kind of scale that's ultimately valuable, not just for us, but for Fujitsu. Excellent. Well, gentlemen, it's a really exciting partnership and it's a really big development in the uh, outlook for Open RAN. So I appreciate you taking the time to share the details with our audience. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.